This is the video review of Tobot Cargo. And, uh, yeah, the, the Tobot line kind of seems to be going away a little bit from the, um, uh, the Tobot plus letter name. Because, like, we had Tobot Terracle before this, we've had Tobot Zero before, and here we have Tobot Cargo. I think it's because, um, they realized after a while they would run out of letters in the alphabet, and Tobot P doesn't sound very appealing. So, anyway, this guy is a, um, he's a, um, a mail car, basically. And this gimmick is that he can deliver across uh, land, sea, and air. So here you have his car mode, and you can just drive around. Here's a little cargo thing up top. Now if you take this off, pull this out, and open it up, and uh, put it onto the um, top like this, it still gets his package thing up here. Then you can open this up. Then you can put it onto the bottom, like this. If I can get it to clip on. And then you can pull the tires out like this, and he can float across water. It's a, a silly little thing, but it's neat that he can do it, because like uh, these things are like maybe to propel him around, or maybe just keep him balanced because of uh, the air, so he'll, he'll like, bree, 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 bree. And it's, it's neat that he has this little gimmick. Anyway, you'll pop this off, and then you'll pop this off, and this will be a surfboard in his uh, robot mode. But for now, we're going to take this out, and this is his little toe key, but it doubles as something kind of interesting. If you look at this, this is a, um, one of those little uh, sign here, and it actually works. It's like a um, like an Etch-a-Sketch, and then it will uh, raise the signature when you uh, pull out the receipt here. And I think that's kind of neat. Um, it's supposed to have electronics. I put in several pairs of batteries, but I can't get them to work. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a quality control issue or... I mean, I'm sure it's a quality control issue, but it, it doesn't work. So anyway, um, and then this thing will be a little package that he can carry around, like, in his hand. It doesn't work very well, but, oh well. And then this is where you put the toe key, but, again, the, co the toe key's not really necessary, so... I'll put it back here, and I really like, like how on this one there's a place for the toe key. I hate it when there's not a place. So I'll transform this guy. He's uh, actually pretty simple. He's one of the more simple uh, toe bots out there. And he has some things about him that I don't like, like the, um... He's overall well built, and I like the way he looks, but some of his ratchets are kind of gross. So to start this off, you're going to pull this section down like that, and you're going to be untabbing it from... This little tab will go into here, and then a little tab right here will go into a clip right here. And so you need, and then uh, these little things will end up in here, and these little slots right here. And then uh, this thing uh, kind of uh, locks into place up here. So it's a very strong connection, and it takes a little while to figure out how to do it, but... Um, after you figure it out, it, it won't be a problem. It's just the first couple of times, especially going to vehicle mode, are kind of nerve-wracking. Now, there's some little tabs right here. They'll go into clips right here and right here. You'll bring it down, and that will bring up the head right there. You're going to come to the top, and his little sunroof, you're going to push it down like this to make room for his elbows. Lift these up, bring them out to the side, and then... Um, there are little red pieces here that you can lift up, and these will lock the arms in place so they won't go forward. Um, I don't really think they're necessary, but it's nice that they're there. Uh, the one thing I do wish about them is uh, that they actually uh, clipped into place a little bit better. Um, they don't really fall, but I don't feel like they go up as well as they should, and it's hard to get your finger in there to really push them up into place. But uh, anyway, then you'll take his uh, chest piece here, you rotate it up. And then, this is kind of weird, you have to, uh, uh, you don't pull the waist down, you rotate it forward like that. And to uh, get it back in, you press the button and push it in. So, you'll pull that out. Then you'll straighten out the legs right here. Then you pull out the feet, and there's a little tab right here that goes into a clip right there. Then you split the legs. And you get them all straightened up. And this is Tobot Cargo in his robot mode. And I really like the way this guy looks. He looks really cool. And like, he's a great example of what I love about Tobot engineering, which is where, <coughs> excuse me, the figures don't have a lot of paint. Instead, they have lots of different uh, color plastic inserts. So like, you have red, yellow, red, um, white, red. Uh, all of the windows here are... Um, uh, plastic inserts are not paint, and it really makes the figure come alive, and also means that there's no, there's not much paint to really scratch, like, most of the paint is, like, on the side here, or on the head. 
And so I think this color scheme came out really, really well. And uh, I said earlier that he like he can travel over air. That's because that's a jetpack. Now I wish these things could move back a little bit so you kind of get in the way because it's hard. If nothing else, it's hard to get your hand in there to get a grip on him because these things kind of get in the way. It's not a big deal or anything. It's just a little bit annoying. And um, for his gimmicks, he has this, which is a surfboard. You will put these little clips here onto these little tabs here and here. Excuse me, and then here he is on the surfboard, and um, it's okay. It's not the most convincing thing in the world, but it's not terrible. You can have him look forward, go into kind of a surfer, uh, a surfer pose, and he would really benefit from a um, from a waist swivel, but he doesn't have one. Now I mentioned earlier that he has some things I really don't like about him, like the way that his uh, ratchets work. Listen to this. Like it's. It's a functional ratchet, and it's not going to break, I don't think, but it sounds awful. Um, anyway, for his, for his other gimmick, you can open his little hands here. Uh, his hands look kind of ugly, um, but they have to kind of fit into space, and they have to be able to wrap around this handle. I don't think they do a very good job. It's like they don't peg in; they just kind of they just kind of rest there, and then it just comes off very very easily. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, what I tend to do instead is just. We'll leave it between there and that's in between his legs and it works uh, quite a bit better. Now to take all of this stuff off, I'm going to show off his articulation. Uh, you saw that the head can turn side to side. Arms can go forward and back and go uh, up and down. And if you lower these things, it gets a little bit of pectoral articulation, which does help bring his arms out like that. That's the other reason why I say these things aren't really necessary. Um, well, the, the main reason actually, beyond just that they already kind of ratchet into place. So. You uh, get some decent articulation out of the arms there and the elbow bends uh, about that much. So about like uh, 70 or 80 degrees. And the legs go forward, they go back, they go in and out, bend at the knee, not too much, and then he does have some uh, foot articulation here. Now what's nice about this guy is that you can get him into some decent action action poses and his feet are big enough to support him. So it's not like a Tobot K who just looks super stiff or like a um, Tobot Terracal whose feet were just not that great. So he's probably the best of the Tobots that's been released this year in spite of his uh, flaws. And I do like uh, the, uh, the gimmicks that he has with his um, pack, especially the uh, little uh, sign for the thing here. Although basically it means he's more like a Repo Man where it's... Not, hey, here's your package. Hey, here's a bill. So, anyway, this has uh, been Tobot Cargo. I do quite recommend him. Uh, he's not quite as good as, like, a, a Tobot Adventure Z or uh, some of the other figures there. Certainly not as good as the combiners, but if you're uh, caught up on the line for everything you want, I definitely would recommend getting him. He's one of the better of the line. So, anyway, this has been a video review of uh, Tobot Cargo. Um, if you enjoyed it, I do lots of other reviews like this. Uh, I review Tobots, Transformers, Digimon, Power Rangers, lots of stuff like that. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.